Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to drop in on it and answer a question that I initially had when I saw that the RS2 and the Ronin S, or Ronin 2, whatever they're called, the, the new Ronin, okay? The, uh, this is the RS2 and this is the Ronin SC. This is the old one. My number one question when they were announced was, will this Raven Eye uh, video transmitter, will it work with my older Ronin model? So first off, I will tell you that if you're considering getting the new Ronin, uh, I don't know if my camera's focusing or not, but if you did decide to get the new uh, RSC uh, or, or RSC2 or the, the new Ronin2, they are great purchases. I've been using this RS... Uh, <laughs> the names. I've been using the RSC2 uh, for about three weeks now, and I have literally used it in every one of my videos, and it has been well worth the purchase of damn near $800 once you purchase the bundle, which has this um, which has this Raven Eye in there. It also has the focus motor and stuff like that. So, I mean, to me, it was a great buy because I looked at, I did the numbers. I broke all the calculations down and figured, hey, it is definitely worth the purchase. But we're gonna put this to the side because this video ain't about that. It's about this and this bad boy, the older uh, Ronin SC. This is a fantastic gimbal, man. And I really hate to get rid of it, but I seriously do not have a need for it anymore because the active track with this, you have to set up your camera, get it all balanced, right? And then you put on a, a mobile phone grip on top, on top of your camera, and then you put your mobile phone on top of your camera. And the, the, the transmission happens from your phone camera looking at the object, which is, let's say your camera's sitting right here. For those of y'all who actually have the, the Ronin SC, you know what's up. So your camera's right here, and this is your lens, okay? And then you put your mobile phone up here, and the camera's up here at the top. So all the framing is done by the... Um, by the mobile phone camera, which is probably, I don't know, two and a half, three inches away from the center point of your existing lens or your real lens. And the framing was always off. You had to do really quirky stuff to get it to work. And then, you know, as far as like seeing what you were looking at or, or tracking, that was impossible. I love the feature, but it was so full of quirks. I couldn't, ugh, I stopped using it. So I was really happy when this came out with this. And I was like, man, what if I could just spend 130 bucks on the Raven Eye, hook it up to my Ronin SC and be good to go? That's not happening. DJI wants all the money. Uh, this does not have enough ports. You have your power port right here that you can charge this bad boy with. And then you have your interface port that goes into your camera. And I thought there was one more, but yeah, there's no more ports on here, man. So it's just, first of all, it's not enough ports, but by some black magic, they decided to do it DJI. They could possibly push out an OTA update I highly doubt it. If you're gonna sit here and wait on an update to come to your R, uh, Ronin SC, you could be waiting a very long time, which means never, it's, it's just never gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen, but um, it won't work. I tried it. <laughs> when you turn on the Ronin uh, and you get on the uh, Ronin SC page of the app, it does not have any interface to let you interact with this thing. It just doesn't recognize it at all. Uh, like it does with the uh, the RSC2. So it's just not a thing, man. And this is a cool little gadget. Let me let me give you a look at it real quick. Get up in here. For those of y'all, let me get you focused. For those of y'all who have not seen any of these videos about this thing yet, there's a ton of them out there. It has these two little antennas on there. It looks like a Decepticon. Uh, so it says Raven Eye right there. You got your... Um, you got your HDMI, HDMI port right there and a USB-C. And then you have another USB-C on the side or on the back side of it. And this all interfaces with the camera as well as uh, the gimbal itself. So you really need multiple ports on your gimbal, which the new RSC2 has. And then it's powered by itself. It's actually uh, battery powered. So that's cool. But and the battery does last a really long time and it's a very compact device. So it has this cold shoe right there and then it just kind of mounts right underneath. Let me get it the right way. Yeah. So it mounts right underneath there. It's a dedicated spot for it. A little cold shoe built right into the gimbal. So yeah, DJI wants your money. You got to buy the new stuff in order to use the new technology. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way they're doing it, man. They want all the money. And I just want to be the guy to break the bad news to you because I thought I was just going to be able to buy the separate attachment, stick it on my old stuff and get it to work. Not happening, bro. Well, that's all I want to say to y'all. I got to get out of here. Hope you're having a good day. Keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. 
Man, it be the ones closest to you. I see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?